because of it, players lose their composure in the last couple of games had moments? Are these isolated incidents? Are you worried that it's becoming kind of a trend? I mean, what, what do you kind of speak to those you know, CJ get kicked out? Well, again, in the heat of the battle, anything is liable to happen. I'm not happy about it. You know, I mean, after looking at it, it you know, the kid put his head on, on his chest and he, he threw a, a semi-elbow. I don't think it, it was something hard that warrant being kicked out of the game. But again, I can't control that. He was kicked out. And from that point on, we just, you know, I thought we were playing pretty good. We gave up really, a, it was a 16-2 or, or four run at, at that point. I mean, they went off on a, a tremendous run and we couldn't get back. You guys, I think it was, gave up a 20 nothing run at one point. So what, what do you feel the issues were during that stretch? Well, it's defense. I mean, you ain't gonna be nobody in the Big Ten and that's on me, 91 points. It's a lot of points. Yeah, we missed the big fella tonight to plug the hole, but I mean, we we kept getting beat off the bounce a lot tonight, and I mean that generated a lot of. They shot 25 free, made 25 free throws, so that's just that's a bit much. So we gotta we gotta get that fixed. And when do you think with how long Lear might be out? Don't know. I really don't. I I'm just sitting there. I have no idea how long he'll be there. When did yeah. you find out you were going to lose him? What was the time frame with that? How much preparation time did you get? Well, I mean, he, he went down and practiced, came down on somebody's ankle, foot and turned his ankle and it blew up on him. So, I mean, what, what are you going to do? You I, thought Peyton, I thought Peyton played an excellent game. For a guy that hadn't played very many minutes, I thought he was very, he's one of the positive signs tonight, which is kind of nice to see. You yeah. talked about toughness after the Purdue loss. Were you pleased with your team's effort today? No, not when you give up 91 points. I, you know, I mean, I thought we fought, you know, I mean, we didn't quit, but, you know, I know he's not happy with his defense. I mean, he scored 53 points in the second half. They scored 52, but who's playing defense? Nobody. When you talk about the fight you showed at the end and not quitting and kind of weigh that against some of the, you know, the flagrant fouls and the, the discipline like that, how do you kind of weigh what you're getting from your player leadership right now? Well, again, I mean, it, you know, I put it where it lies. It still starts with our seniors, you know what I mean? We, we got three of them, and I didn't think Walker was very good. Gallo had a stretch where he just was horrendous. It really cost us about 10 points. I mean, so those are things that are correctable that we got to clean up, man, if we're going to move forward and, and be – Stay in the hunt. What is it about Klisman? What is it about Klisman? He just he, he had more points in the second half there at the start than Indiana had. Well, again, just losing him. You know, when we doubled, didn't rotate correctly. I mean, it was just it's a lot of miscues. And, and again, that's on me. You guys had a, a number of double-figure losses here. What are two or three things that you feel are things you can change this season to kind of get you guys back on track? Keep working. That's all we can do is keep working. With this long break you have, I guess, where do you go from here as far as just setting, setting, resetting yourself and getting forward to the game? Next go week? back to work. We gotta, we gotta work. We gotta, we gotta keep working. We gotta keep working to get better. That's all you can do. And with bringing X off the bench the last few games, what do you kind of want his role? It's kind of. I thought he was to better tonight. You know, I thought he showed some signs of trying to lead and do the right thing. I mean, so I mean, we'll look hard at, hard at, at it this week. See if he can earn his spot back. If he does, then. We'll probably have him back in the lineup. It all depends on how he comes to work and, and produces in practice to, to get where he needs to get. You all are only five against spring teams. What do you feel like separates you guys right now? Well, again, we're a new team, and I'm not using that as an excuse. You've got ten new players, and we're still trying to figure each other out. Not having the big fella, that hurt a little bit tonight. Again, I thought Peyton was, gave us some positive minutes. The league has been solid all year. We just got to get some guard guard play for this team, get them going. Coach, is it just de is it just defense that goes away when these teams go on these longer runs? Well, I mean, on the road, you can't you can't think you just go outscore teams on the road. You got to play defense on the road and rebound the ball. And I thought we we were there from a rebounding standpoint, but 91 points, you're not going to beat anybody on the road. Well, you're, you're a tough you're a tough competitor. How's this affecting you? Well, coach, and it's my job to figure it out as a coach to get our team playing better, and that's what I'm going to do. Where do the problems start to Is it communication? Is it effort? Or no, I think they're trying to get effort, give effort, but I just think the rotations are off. When we're playing well and we have good defensive runs, everybody's on the same page. But we haven't been able to put it together over a long period of time. We're playing well in spurts. 
and that's not good enough to win right now. Thanks, Coach.